welcome to day 21 of our Write It series for Black History Month here at blacksandperiodfilms.com. Today we're going to be talking about a cartoonist, Jackie Armis. She was the first African-American woman with a syndicated comic strip. And I was, I've was i always been impressed by this picture of her drawing her comic. And you can see a little bit of the characters that she drew. She is known for her characters, Torchy Brown, Patty Joe and Ginger, and a character named Candy. And these characters delighted African-American readers because they were confident, smart, and independent. And they went against many stereotypes of Black Americans at that time. She is also well known because of her Patty Joe doll. In 1947, she contracted with the Terry Lee Doll Company, and they created one of the first African-American dolls to have an extensive upscale wardrobe. And she is quoted as saying, no more rags, Susies, or Sambos, just kids. I was very thrilled to find out that someone's already working on a project about her life. Jackie Ormond's The Torch Brown Project by Susan Reeb. And according to Wikipedia, she has been working for 20 years to get Jackie Orm's story out there. So um, the premise of this story is, can Jackie Orm step into the world she's created through her comic strip heroine, Torchy Brown? They already have an actress and everything, and the screenshot on the right um, is from their promo. Um, I'm linking everything from this project down below. I could not have, I haven't found any updates on it and I'm very, very excited about this. So I'm going to do some more digging and anything I found out I'll place on the website, but there is a Jackie Armas project in the work works right now and they've already filmed a promo for it. And I think Lakia Ladone looks perfect as Jackie. And so I think if they carry it over or make it bigger, then she should definitely play Jackie. Other ideas I have are based on the characters. For example, Torchy Brown, she was the first independent black woman in a nationally syndicated comic strip. She was featured in two of Jackie Ormes' projects, Dixie to Harlem, which ran from 1937 to 1938. The interesting thing is though, it was resurrected in, in the 1950s when she created Torchy and the Heartbeats. And that ran from 1950 to 1954. In Dixie to Harlem, we follow Torchy Brown as a teenage to 20-something-year-old girl from the country. She's from the South, and she's starry-eyed, a little wacky, and very optimistic. She sees her friend's cousin visit from New York City, and after seeing her, she wants to go to New York City, too. This was a good series because it basically shows the struggles of people during the Great Migration, moving from the South, to the north. Now, Torchy Brown is also featured in Torchy and Heartbeats. And Torchy is now an adult woman, and she goes on various adventures and um, tackles romance. Her boyfriend is a doctor, Dr. Paul Hammond, and they together champion causes, and it's very interesting. It's kind of also like um, spying at times. Because in one of the articles, they go to this um, town called South Southville, and they have to tackle um, the pollution that's being put in the communities because the people are poor and black. This topic of pollution and poverty and racial injustice is relatable even for today, so it would translate over perfectly. Torchy Brown is a very popular for her 1947 um, paper doll. Torchy Togs, and as you can see, Torchy was a stylish woman, stylish character. It would just be so awesome to see uh, a black actress dressed like this. So my idea for that is Megan Good as Torchy. You can kind of see that she looks kind of similar to Torchy, and so we would start the Fillmore series with Torchy as a young girl, um, as she's in the South, and then she follows her dreams to the North to become a dancer at the Cotton Club. We follow her into adulthood. She um, deals with romance and with her um, aspirations regarding battling the evils of society. Now there was another character, Candy, and it was a one panel comic and it only lasted for four months, but it was based on a vivacious and witty domestic worker. And this was done in love because at one time, Jackie's mother had to be 
a maid, a domestic worker, because their, her father had died. And so she became a domestic worker to provide for herself. And as we can see in these panels that Candy is not the stereotypical mammy type domestic worker that was popular during the 40s. The perfect person to play her in my mind is Nicole Biari. But Candy's comic strip put me in the mind of Teresa Harris, an actress from pre-code Hollywood, um, especially in the film Professional Sweetheart, which came out in 1933. In that film, she's also a vivacious, witty domestic worker. Because of how beautiful she is, she does not fit in with the quote-unquote mammy stereotype at that time. But... Um, I think Candy should be in a film like this. I personally don't see anything wrong with having more films about domestic workers as long as those roles are layered and the characters are full and lush real people. Another set of characters that um, Jackie is well known for is Patty Joe and Ginger and they're a sister duo um, and it began appearing in the Pittsburgh Carrier in 1946. The cartoon depicted a middle-class Ginger and her little sister Patty Jo in various slice-of-life situations. So this would be perfect in a film um, where we follow the day-to-day -day life of a middle-class Ginger as she grows accustomed to caring for her precocious younger sister Patty Jo in 1940s America and the situations they come across. Jackie Ormans was the first black woman with a nationally syndicated comic strip her characters, Torchy Brown, Patty Joe, and Ginger, as well as Candy, all went against popular representations of Black women in the 1940s and 1950s. Jackie Ormus is a trailblazer whose life story, as well as comic book characters, would create amazingly entertaining films and or series. Someone should write it.